We've used the add relation feature in the two previous videos and we first introduced it in the sketches, extrusion and fillets video. Link below if you haven't watched that already. With this simple bottle opener example, we'll expand on what other relations can be utilized. We'll learn about trimming and offsetting entities using fillets within a sketch and we'll even learn about bringing back trimmed entities in case we deleted something that we thought we didn't need. The overall construction plan for this part is very simple. We sketch the front view and we give it a 0.1 inches depth. Well, and a hole at the end, but that's pretty straightforward. Of course, most of the work is found within the first sketch. We can use the front plane to work on our sketch. We go to sketch and select the front plane. Here, we'll begin with the 0.33 radius circle by selecting the circle, setting a 0.66 inch diameter, and we'll locate it just one inch away from the origin in both the horizontal and the vertical axes. We do this to not confuse the center of our circle for the smart dimensions we'll use later. Right underneath this circle, we have the center of another one. So we'll create a second circle, dimension it with a radius of 2 times 0.58. And by the way, I am typing 2 times 0.58 in the dimensions window. And we'll add two parameters. The first one will add a relation for their centers so that they are aligned vertically and the smart dimension between them so that they are 0.26 inches apart. Let's do the circle on the left next. We create it somewhere on the left and we set its diameter to 0.28 inches. And we also know that the horizontal distance between its center and the center of the first circle is 0.63 inches. Since the vertical distance between centers is 0.08 inches, we can use smart dimension to set that to 0.08. However, like you just noticed, by default, using smart distance will try to dimension the horizontal distance between centers, not the vertical one. So we'd have to select the option to specifically measure the vertical distance within the drop-down menu of smart dimension. We can certainly do that, but since there are two more additional features that are also located on a line 0.08 inches above that center, it makes sense to just have a construction line there. To do this, we can create a construction line that is coincident with the center of our first circle, meaning that the line passes through that center, and then use the Offset Entity option. After clicking on the Offset Entities button, we select the entity that we're trying to offset. We select the construction line and we type 0.08 inches. Now we want this new line to be above it, not below it. So we change that by checking the reverse checkbox. Additionally, we don't want this new line to be a solid line, meaning a real line that is part of the sketch. We only want it to be another construction line. Therefore, we click on the Offset Geometry checkbox under Construction Geometry, meaning we're giving the offset line, not the baseline, the attribute of being a construction line. We can extend it if needed, since we'll be using it for those other geometries on the right in just a second. And since we're already here, we'll create another one 0.04 inches away from it. Now we can add a relation between the center of the circle and the top construction line for them to be coincident. At this point, we can use the Trim Entities option. After clicking on the Trim Entities button, anything we click on will disappear. From the blue circle, we can click on this, this, and notice that even construction lines count towards separating solid entities. So we have to make sure that we trim anything we're not going to use. You have to be very careful and look at this you have to be extremely careful. Now, sometimes with the trimming, you might lose some of the smart dimensions, depending on where you clicked to make those in the first place. So notice that the radius of the blue circle disappeared and we have to add it back. Now, the circle to the right has a diameter of 0.24 inches. This one is located 0.04 inches above the center of the first circle, which means that we can use the offset construction line in the middle. We select Add Relation and we make this circle center and that line coincident. Having taken care of this vertical distance, we use the Smart Dimension to set the horizontal distance to 0.29 inches. There's another circle on the top construction line 0.6 inches away from the center of the circle that we just drew. So we create a circle, we set its diameter to 0.36, with an Add Relation, we locate it on the top construction line with the Coincident option 
and with smart dimension, we located 0.6 inches away from the center of this other circle. A slanted line tangent to both circles appears to be joining them. We draw a random slanted line long enough to touch both circles. We use add relation to select the line and the left circle, and in this case use the tangent relation. And after clicking OK, we basically do the same for that same line and the circle on the right. With these new shapes, we can trim again. And maybe I'm not careful enough about the lines that should remain here, who knows. This will be important in a minute. And notice that we lost the radius of our initial circle. Now we're getting close to the end. We draw a big circle that has a center somewhere with a 2 times 1.18 inches diameter. Notice that we don't care where the center is located because we see that the arc is tangent to both the leftmost circle and the one farthest to the right. Now that we've used the add relation option several times, it's time to share a tip to shave off some seconds every time you use it. If nothing has been selected, either as a feature nor as an option, you can select the first entity you want to add a relation to, hold the shift key and click on the second entity. When the two entities are selected this way, the add relation options will appear on the left. In this case, we want these two circles to be tangent with each other. Now we do the same with the big circle and the one on the right. Select the big circle, shift, select the circle on the right, and tangent and escape. Easy, right? Now let's trim some more. Sometimes it might appear that there are remaining entities that need to be trimmed, but in many cases they are only part of the dimensions like this one right here. If we want to make sure, we can just move the dimension out of the way, and we can clean up the dimensions if we want to. For example, make a diameter be a radius or vice versa. For this diameter, we can select it, go to leaders, and choose the radius icon instead of the diameter. On the left, all we're missing is the tiny fillet so that there is not a sharp internal edge between entities. To do this, all we do is select the sketch fillet option. We click on the vertex and type 0.1 inches. The last thing we're missing is the straight segment that will allow us to actually open a bottle. And notice that we deleted an extra entity earlier that we need right now. Not to worry, the other option in the drop down menu of trim entities is precisely extend entities. So we click on that and we click on the arc to bring back the tiny arc that we carelessly trimmed earlier. We draw a segment between the construction lines. We exit, select extruded boss, give it a 0.1 inches thickness, and click OK. Finally, we make a hole. And since we already know that what we want is an extruded cut to do this, we select extruded cut, we select the plane our circle is gonna live on, and SolidWorks will immediately understand that we want the sketch on that surface. After drawing a circle, we dimension it to be 0.16 inches in diameter, and we add a relation between the new circle and the arc around it to make them concentric, meaning sharing the same center point. When we exit the sketch, the extruded cut feature will resume, asking us for the depth and direction. We select through all again in case we make the bottle opener thicker. And now we're done. With this simple exercise, we have learned about many different types of relations we can create, from vertical, horizontal, and coincident, to tangent and concentric. We learned about trimming entities, offsetting entities, which can be construction lines or solid lines, regardless of what the base entity is, using fillets within a sketch, not the fillet features that we learned in a previous video, link below, and we even learned how to bring back a trimmed entity that we did need to keep. In the description below, you can find the links to the other videos of this course and the playlists to other engineering courses. So make sure to check those out. Thanks for watching.